look at the faded sign. It talks about this being sacred soil and say the departed merit our respect and honor as they await the resurrection. Well, these charges allege a violation of that promise, of that trust. High weeds and grass and neglect in Charleroi Cemetery so upset families, they've taken cleanup into their own hands as volunteers. I cried. I went up there on Father's Day. I was there Father's Day. The grass was up to here. And it was disgraceful to see a cemetery like that. Stacy Wolf also got Washington County DA Gene Batone investigating why. In particular, the veterans graves, which were so overgrown that they were unrecognizable as places of rest. Where did the $28,000 trust fund for perpetual cemetery care go? Batone charges Joseph Minkovich of Charleroi, now owner of Ross Draver Auto Sales, drained all the money in 2010 when he had an interest in the cemetery and used the assets as collateral for a loan. Which he deposited into a business account for his used car business. He then issued checks for his own benefits with the money. Regis Leach, visiting his in laws' graves, calls it disheartening. I think they ought to prosecute him and uh, either he had to pay it back or go to jail. Now, state police want to hear from anyone who's not gotten what they paid for at Charleroi Cemetery. It's just been a unfortunate ongoing situation that we've been facing with families. Apart from whatever happens with a criminal prosecution, those volunteers say they want to set up a new and permanent fund so that something like this doesn't happen in this cemetery again. In Charleroi, Washington County, Bob Mayo, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.